Hey everyone, it's Lisa Smith, Kindred Stitcher. Today is Monday. <laughs> what day is this? Monday, May 13th. And um, I've been trying to get around to doing another video since I got back from all of the retreats and things I've been doing lately. But it's been so busy, I'm just, I'm just swamped. So I thought I would do a quick video. I'm gonna try and get as much in here as possible. But I have a lot to show you and I'm running out of daylight. So I might have to stop the video, clip it together simply to move things around. Um, I'm filming in my bedroom again and just thought I'd show you, talk a little bit about the retreats, show you what I got. So the weekend before last, last weekend was Mother's Day weekend, actually two weekends before that, uh, Lori and I, Lori Textilist and I went to the Dinah Stitch Retreat in Virginia Beach. And we had an amazing time. We met Donna Ray. had dinner and lunch and meals with wonderful stitchers met a lot of people Glenn Southern Stitcher Anna and Pat from Dying to Stitch um, they have an amazing shop and we met Barb and Elma we met Linda Stoltz from Erica Michaels and we had a fantastic time we um, went to the shop twice we went on Thursday when we got in we actually flew the red eye on, on a Wednesday night and um, it was funny because we left at 10.30. I watched a movie for a couple of hours, and in the middle of the night, there's this noise in the cabin, and it's this cat, it's like a cat meowing, and I'm thinking it's in, feels like it's in the walls, or maybe it's underneath. And I finally found out, it was like every three minutes, this would happen, and a guy behind me gets out of his seat, jostles around, kind of bumps into everybody, pulls a cat carrier out from underneath my seat and his poor cat had been in a cat carrier for five hours. Um, he went to the bathroom and I don't know if it just ran laps in there for a little while or what he did. He put it back in the cat carrier and put it under the seat and uh, we made it. That night, Thursday night, we stayed up until nine o'clock so that we could try and get on East Coast time, but we had been up 30 hours. So we were a little bit rummy, but we had a great time. And on Friday, we met Barb and Alma and we also went back to Dying to Stitch, and it was crazy that day. Um, but Barb and Alma are wonderful. They're so down to earth, and they have great stories to tell, and they want to hear our stories, and I just adore them. They were fantastic. If you get a chance to go to a retreat where you get to meet Barb and Alma, I would encourage you to go. So let me show you what we got on Friday night. I'm gonna rummage around because I got all kinds of stuff piled up here on the bed. Um, this was our retreat piece Thursday, or Friday night. This is our small, and it is called Home From Sea. You can see that it has a kind of a maritime theme, and that was the request that they designed something nautical or maritime because Virginia Beach is on the beach, right? And so on Saturday, we went to the country club and had a class in the morning, a class in the afternoon. We were in the morning class. And <clears throat> Barb and Alma talked about the retreat exclusive, which this will be, I think, available in a year. We live in hope. They talked about the history of the sampler that is the inspiration for this piece, uh, that it's an Irish sampler. They talked about the different types of linen that are named after towns or counties in Ireland. And they talked about the motifs, particularly the, the um, anchor, and that what that means is hope, hope, and what we all yearn for is hope. So it was a great story for them to talk with, with us about.
So those were the two res retreat exclusives from Barb and Elma. And then we heard at lunchtime, everybody came together and Linda Stoltz from Erica Michaels, and she said her, her company's name is after her son, whose name is Eric Michael. And she calls the company Erica Michaels. And she does, she did say that she answers to Erica because people think her name is Erica, right? So she had a PowerPoint where she talked about berry finishes. And she put the PowerPoint in color into this nice folder for us. Uh, she's very knowledgeable, had great tips to finishing berries. And um, if you get a chance to go see her talk sometime, I highly encourage it. <clears throat> so that was Dying to Stitch. We, I'm sorry, I'm throwing stuff out of the way here. Oh, okay, so on Sunday, the retreat was actually over. So Lori and I hopped in a rental car and we went up to Colonial Williamsburg. Neither of us had been there. So we spent the day um, visiting and seeing the, the governor's mansion, um, all of the historic places there. Um, we went into a milliner's store and Lori bought a few. There was a, some cross-stitch patterns. She bought a, one a cross-stitch and an embroidery. Um, pattern and they were lovely. I didn't buy any at that store, but there were some great choices that she made. Um, we were exhausted by the end of that day because we we walked everywhere. So we ended up going home that night. Then when I say home, the hotel in Virginia Beach. And then on Monday, we flew to Wisconsin to Sampler Green. And the people at Dying to Stitch told us, when we told them we were going to Wisconsin, they said, I'm sorry, it's Spring Green, Sam Country Sampler Spring Green. They said, when you fly into Madison, go to Lynn's of Madison. Well, we had just seen um, Michelle Farm Girl had stopped there also on her way out to Indiana for a trip. Um, Lynn's and Madison is really a fine art store, so there are canvases and paints and different things for fine art, and she has a really big, a really nice sampler section, especially for cross stitch. She has totes and bins of linen. So all sorts of counts, all sorts of colors from different producers or manufacturers. She had um, a lot of Picture This Plus, Lakeside, and mostly it was those two plus Wagar cuts. She had a huge spinner of scarlet letter um, patterns. I, so I had, a, like I had a wad in my hand and we're walking around the store, we had like an hour from the time we landed to the time they closed. And I, I just looked at it and I thought, I can't justify all these patterns, so I put all the two back. But she had, so if you're looking for a particular pattern and it might be out of print, you could call them and ask them if they have it, because they might. They were super nice there, very, very helpful. I enjoyed that store a lot. And so what I bought at that store, I bought, um, Elizabeth Simon. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. This is really, this time of day is really difficult. Um, 
Elizabeth Simon. Now this is an actual picture on the front here, but you can see the colors. The colors on this are fantastic. And this has, um, the verse is 23rd Psalm. So the Lord is my shepherd. Then the next pattern I got was Fanny M. Forrester by the Scarlet Letter. What I like about this, besides the colors, is just the simplicity. It's a pretty simple sampler, and I think you could stitch this on a nice, uh, dark, maybe like a vintage exemplar fabric, and those colors would show up really well. This in the middle here is an alphabet that's in a really light um, colorway. <clears throat> so many more beautiful, beautiful patterns. Okay, so after that, we drove due west to Spring Green, and it was, you know, sunset. So we're going through rolling hills, farmlands, there's dairies. Um, there are huge farmhouses and farms, and we just kept looking everywhere because it was so amazing. The sun was setting, and we're, we're not too far from Spring Green. And in the middle of nowhere, we went through a small town, but kind of in the middle of nowhere was this two-story um, shoe store. And they promoted it as, like, the biggest shoe store in Wisconsin. And as we come closer behind it, there's the sun is setting and you see this building and at the top of the building, there's a statue of King Kong holding an airplane and its eyes are glowing red. And I looked at it and Lori looked at it and I'm like, what the heck is that as we're getting closer? And when we kind of figured out what it was, we just swerved off the road, parked the car and took pictures because who would believe that, that was going to be there? I'll, I'll insert a picture right here so you can see it. Then um, we got in our car, we drove to Sam, uh, Spring Green, and we met our friends Donna and Jean. Donna and Jean are from South Dakota, and we had met them at the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat last year. They happened to be going this year as well, and it worked out that we all met there. And if you've never seen Country Sampler, look them up online. Uh, and they have an apartment upstairs that you can rent. So the, the four of us stayed in the apartment, and we would go down and we, we shopped and shopped and shopped and we bought stuff and went upstairs and stitched and listened to music and went out and tried the local fair. We had a great time. Okay, so we're at Country Sampler. I thought the body dogs were right over there in the back. Look at that one. Oh my yeah. gosh. This is, Look at this Is this stuff. the one, Lisa? Because it looks like it's really so, Donna, let me see that again. I have that one. Christmas in a mm -hmm. And this one I thought was so pretty. Mm -hmm. We're just looking at that model That's on the wall. Thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Oh, yeah. I really like the colors on that, the brick. Yeah. Say hi to all our friends. Hi, everybody. This, this is Donna. a great shop. Yes. Yes. So yes. Yay. <laughs> okay. So this is the front end. This alphabet here is adorable. It's embroidery. This is Teresa Vinette's Sweet Temperance, I think is the name. That is a uh, Stacy Nash. That footstool is cute. And like you can just Run your fingers through the lavender. This is a new release in the last few months. I cannot remember. We just said it. I think that's also Stacy Nash. Um, something about the greens. Oh, I want all of the stuff in here. I'll take one of everything, please. The fabric is incredible. Quotes. Here's Mary Bear's sampler. And then this. This is a la di da. Mm. 
This is blue skin on Eplin Street. And right, this one might have to come home with me. There's a couple I didn't have. We hear a little out of our color wrong. Okay. Some of them I can, you know, like 301, I know the brown, and I know that. Got a bit of virtue sewing so purse from Stacey Nash. Orange-ish color. Oh, you're good. I don't know if you had no eight. Well, watch. Red. I don't remember who that's by. Okay, that's segment one. Let me show you some of the things I got there. Okay, so they are, um, Country Sampler is discontinuing their silks. So I bought two big packages of Belsois silks that were on a significant discount. These are the ones that I have that I'm not using at the moment, but I did use these to kit up a pattern that I will show you momentarily. If I can find them. Oh, I've got more haul. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Well, let me show you some other kits that I, or some other patterns that I uh, picked up. So if you see sampler green, a country sampler, their, their um, style is primitive. And so they'll take a different samplers and change the color away to be more primitive. And their stitcher is from Michigan and the stitcher does an aging process on top of it. So she paints walnut shell, walnut ink, walnut shell ink and, and dirties it up, if you will. And it's beautiful, the process that she uses. And so I'm going to have to try and be courageous and do that with one of mine. Um, I picked this up from downstairs. I've been wanting this one. It's Agnes Rollins, Rollinson. Um, I'm not sure that I love the saying, but I do love the girls sitting together. That one was half price. Um, I picked up Christina Turner. This is Victoria Needle Arts. Here, at least if I can get it without taking it out of the um, package. This one was five bucks. That was a score. I picked uh, this one because who does not love a tall girl with a strawberry? I do. I love it. So this is at, this is Bearing Gifts by Kathy Burke. Awesome. And this one killed me. So while we were there, they were switching over from their current dec decor to more 4th of July. And I saw Rosewood Manor, Weeping Willow Welcome. They had it stitched all together, which was beautiful, but you could, and what I might do is just stitch two pillows. Um, this, is, this was really pretty. And then I picked up, I'm gonna take this one out because it's going to reflect. This is GGR, and I somebody said this is a new release, Sampler Friesian 1750. And I love the colors. This is red and green, my favorite together. Might be a little pink in, uh, in there. Really pretty. Um, I see a few things that I didn't tell you from Dying to Stitch that I meant to, to mention. Um, this one is I'm a little bit all over the place because I'm trying to get this done before the sun goes down. This is an R&R &R reproduction sampler, Quaker Seasons of Friendship. This might be an original design. It's crown and thistle. This is on the wall. Jan Hicks messaged me, messengered me because I was showed it on an Instagram highlight. And she said, I need this. What is it? And then I went over and found it and I decided I needed it too. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful Quaker style sampler. I also picked up Hold on. Reindeer Feed Sack. This came out at Christmas, I think. And I was gonna buy it and I didn't, and then I did. 
And this is Weeks Louisiana Hot Sauce is the red that I'm going to use. All right, so this is the other, the other big thing I did buy it, dying to stitch. And um, I should call this the trip of silks because you guys, all the silks, right? If you can stitch with silks, try to stitch with silks. Um, it's not always economically feasible. This was a little bit of a storage for me. But I picked up, um, this is Teresa Baird's. Uh, Hearts Ease Exampler is her design company. And all of these beautiful nautical sewing kit designs and stitching with these lovely, I, I, I guess I don't have this down, both swath silks. On this 40 count lakeside bisque. The colors are just, I mean, the golds, the pinks, the blues. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. This is going to be a mess to clean up. I also got this. Picked this up from the shop. This is the first kit in the Erica Michael Strawberry Kits Club. Tudor Rose. And you may have seen on Instagram, she gave us a free pattern that says Dying to Stitch and it's a strawberry and it's in the packet of information that I showed you her, her finishing was about. I think we have a finishing kit. We have a finishing kit here somewhere too. Alright. I picked up these two Chessie and Me's from Dying to Stitch. This one is Scarlet Summer Sampler. And this one is Springtime of Youth Sampler. And I like, so what I like about Chessie and Me is that they're not huge patterns, but they're always sampler-esque and um, sort of pastoral scenes. I really enjoy her designs. Um, yeah, I like her stuff. Here's the berry finishing kit for the Dying to Stitch Strawberry. Really, she did a nice job of giving you everything that you need. Okay, let me see. Sampler, <laughs> back to Country Sampler. Um, Country Sampler is not just cross stitch, it's quilt and decor. And I did not buy a lot of quilt fabric. I have quite a bit of quilt fabric and I need to, I have several blocks of the month quilts. Um, and some other things that I need to sew. So I did pick up a little bit. I picked up these two fabrics. Um, I picked up enough to make two project bags. And I'm going to try making the clear front project bags. I think they're not, they're pretty easy to make. And I do know some people who know how to do it. And there's some tutorials out there too. And then the last thing that I can see in front of me that I picked up was so this fabric was on clearance. Um, it's brown with kind of blush pinks and reds, and it'll be great for backing um, projects. Sort of it matches several projects that I'm working on that are pin keeps. So hold on, let me go ahead and grab some more. I'm gonna switch over my stuff and grab some more to show you. Okay. <laughs> So um, I found some more things that I didn't show you from Dying to Stitch. I found this little adorable pin keep. And it's just a little, I don't know what's in there, how it's stuffed, but it's got a little button and some pins. And it looks like this is a candle holder. Super cute. They had necklaces from two, um, a designer or two. Their design name is Two Charming Chicks. Chicks is with a K X and they're on Etsy. Um, on Thursday, I picked up this adorable necklace. B necklace. And then, because one's not enough, right? And I saw this one on and, and, um, Friday and people were picking up all kinds of necklaces. 
This one was on Friday and it's got a bunny rabbit. It's sort of a Beatrix Potter looking rabbit. It's so cute. I think that's it for Dying to Stitch. So we got to um, Minnesota on Thursday we drove to Minnesota and we drove through the countryside. We went to Michelle's house. It was feeding time, so Lori and I met Priscilla and Chelsea, and we saw the goats and the puppies, and Michelle's remodeling, and um, Michelle's just an amazing person. She gets a lot done, and way more than I do, and she's always like juggling balls in the air, and nothing ever seems to drop. So um, after that, we went to the retreat center, and we stitched and laughed and had a great time. You probably saw on Instagram and on, on Floss 2 the retreat exclusive, and I will tell you that I did not have mine stitched before I got to the retreat center. I had like three leaves done. <laughs> and then at Sampler, in, at Country Sampler, I worked a little bit on it one day, but then I worked on it Thursday night, all day Friday, Friday night, Saturday, there was an afternoon finishing class. There was a morning and an afternoon. I signed up for afternoon. And we were learning how to make a bow when I was putting the last stitches in my project. So I think the lesson for me is when you get pre-work to do, do it beforehand. If you possibly can. I was, we get busy and I was jam-packed busy before we left. So I could have planned better, but uh, I got it done and I thoroughly enjoyed the finishing class that Priscilla and Chelsea put on. And they did a great job. Um, very knowledgeable. So this is the project that we made. This is chock full, the chock full series. Oops, my little guy is on a crooked. Um, so clever and just so smart. Um, I had a blast stitching this and I, I, I just didn't give myself as much time as I should have, but I really enjoyed stitching it. There's a secondary pattern that just says Liberty on it and it's attached to this. I went cut home and this is from Hobby Lobby. The, this piece also is from Hobby Lobby, um, but this will sit right nice, nicely in there. And um, it was fun making things with ruffles and bows. I really enjoyed it. So um, we had, gosh, it's fun to it's fun to hang out with people you've met before. It's fun to meet new people. If you stitch your sample, if you stitch your pre work ahead of time, you have more time for that. So I wish I could. There are people that I just didn't get to sit and talk with much because I didn't get my homework done. Lesson learned. Um, one day. On, actually on Friday we went to Buttermilk Basin. So Stacy West from Buttermilk Basin, it, her shop is in Minnesota. And we were able to, she opened the shop for us. We went and saw her amazing shop. Amazing. Um, I bought some velvet. There's this teal color and this purple color. Uh, some threads, some over dyed threads weeks and this wool so when Lori and I were at and Don and Donna and Jean were at Country Sampler upstairs in one of the bedrooms they had these big strawberries that stood on the bottom and they were mounted on a candlestick on the bottom so the what would be the top in real life of a strawberry it was mounted on the bottom and it came up like this. So I'm going to make one of those using the teal fabric. And they had them so that, and then the, the greenery part of the strawberry is going to be the wool. And they made them so that there are little strawberries that come off of the main strawberry and just hang down. And those strawberries are going to be in the purple. So I can't wait. That's going to be a lot of fun and you can use uh, like different stitches to kind of showcase on your strawberry, like a fly stitch or um, 
you know, you could use French knots, you could put beads on for the little strawberry seeds. There's a ton of things you can do. But we really fell in love with that and thought, well, it'd be fun for us to make something similar to that um, in the future. I have a Midwest cross stitch mug. Good for having cocktails on the deck. We had a great um, gift from Twin Peaks Primitives. One from Raise the Roof Designs. This one's called Liberty Fence. How cute is that? I got a freebie at the freebie table. This is May's Lily of the Valley, My Garden Journal by Cottage Gardening Samplings. And we also received from Teresa at Shakespeare's Peddlers a free antique scissors and spools. So those were the freebies. Oh, and I won a raffle or my door prize. The door prize, I chose this beeswax that is um, molded from an antique mold. And that is, like, this is heavy. This is a lot of beeswax. So that was fun. I got that. And there's a raffle um, to raise money for Emily C's work with um, foster children through CASA in uh, her hometown. And I won a hank of black, and there's a very slight bit of blue on this, um, Silks for You thread. And it's the hank color that I don't have, so I was really excited to, have, to get that. Um, buttermilk Basin, I picked up everything and then I put it back but I picked up this particular pattern which is really really cute fall pattern I picked up this kit I mean come on who doesn't want a bunny pulling it being pulled by a chick and this had the wool on this this kind of plaid wool is adorable and I also picked up this one um, there was a whole series of the hearts. This is the 4th of July one. And there's this board. Um, I want to say it's Stacy's, like her daughter's boyfriend that makes these. And they're sort of hand waxed. And you can switch in and out the projects that are in this shape. That was cute. If I lived closer, I would have picked that up. And here's a fractor. This is called Vintage Table Runner February. Sort of a, a fractor design. Super cute. Okay. That's it for retreats, I believe. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about some stitchy kindness. The um, Donna and um, Jean gave us mugs from South Dakota and some tea and a little mug rug, which was super cute. Donna also made project bags that she sold at the retreat. And this is so much fun. Look at this. Very summerish. I loved it. So thank you to you all. It was such a great time spending with you. Donna Ray gave us some postcards. And what would they be other than these for sure? And some healing balm, bee balm. So thanks, Donna Ray. I really enjoyed spending time with you, even though it was a typhoon outside at times. <laughs> um, I have a little giveaway that I won off of Kathy Schmidt's Instagram page. It's a it's a charm pack. I think this is called a charm pack. Of her fabrics, I love uh, this. Love, love, love it. And thank you to one of my viewers who um, sent this lovely card that looks like it should be a Mirabilia design. This is Mid Miss Digitale. This is from Ka um, Karen. Karen, I'm not gonna say your last name online, but thank you so much. And she sent me um, some, to try out some clips for my Hade on the roller frame on the side. So she sent me two different types to try out. So I am excited to get back to my hate and try them out. Thank you very much, Karen. I'll let you know how they work. And then my girlfriend, Kim from Canada. She was at the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat. Last spring, she and I 
were commiserating because we hadn't put our names in to be involved with the um, patriotic smalls swap through the Midwest cross stitch group. So we decided to swap with each other and she brought me my items at this retreat. She sent, gave me this awesome jar that has kind of a distressed lid, but it also has a glass lid, which I have not seen one of these before. And it says Canadian Jewel, Canadian Jewel on it, made in Canada. So it's sort of a mason jar, but it's cooler than a mason jar. And inside, she also gave me this little strawberries container. And inside, she had stitched these three Prairie Schooler strawberries and hand pieced them. And, oh, look at the stitching. Look at how impeccably it's joined. And it is solid, you guys. It is completely solid with, she used walnut shells. They're so adorable. She stitched all three. Look at this one. She stitched all three for me. Kim, I just can't believe that you did this. And you're amazing. Thank you so much. You're the best partner ever. Well, except all the other people that we partnered with, right? Because everybody's the best. All right. So let me just show you. Now that there's a disaster on my bed where I'm trying to put stuff away, I'm going to show you my whips and some things I worked on with Mania and tell you what I'm doing with Stitch Mania because, <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm doing something a little bit different. I, um, I couldn't get my business together. We started Mania over in a Midwest retreat and I had taken some smalls with me um, and decided, you know, this is the year I'm going to do Blackbird Designs. So I started with Stacy Nash instead. And I, I, I decided to start three smalls. When I finish those three, I'm gonna start three more smalls. So what's great about this is that you can stitch it more than one day. Um, last year I started the Early Americans by Little House Needleworks and I love them. Truly, I could stitch like a window each day. That's about it. and. So I would go back and I don't even know what building it belongs to because there's nine of them and it took me a while to figure that out. So I found that I really wanted to stitch on it more than one day. So I, I went ahead and I stitched, oops, this is a kit that I got. This is Stacy Nash Freedom. It's a needle book. Um, isn't that pretty? I can't wait to finish this. This was super easy. This was maybe two days and it's so pretty. That's my first one. My second one I finished when I was at my sister's and, and visiting with my mom and my sister this last weekend. This is a Little House Needleworks freebie. And I don't know what it's called, but it's clearly something about jellies. Um, I, I picked it up off a of stash and load as a little kit. It was probably something re they released when they first um, put the pattern out there. It had all the threads. It had the instructions, I did substitute clay pot for raspberry parfait. This is on light khaki, and I think this is 28 count, and it was so much fun to stitch, you guys. And it's a start and a finish. I really, really enjoyed stitching this. So the third one I'm working on is another kit, because I have so stinking many kits, why would I not stitch those? This is um, also Stacy Nash. Um, let's meet at the garden gate. I saw this, I think this was a club country sampler. Yep, it's a country sampler kit. Um, and it was probably two years ago. I believe it's been released as a pattern. And I got it off a of stash and load. So I stitched this and Stacy's instructions are to finish it. Isn't that cute? And then you use the same aging technique as they use at Country Sampler. I'm a little nervous about the red threads. I did not pre-soak them. And if you look at the pattern, you will see that I accidentally stitched the girl, oops, with a red dress and it's supposed to be pink. So I'm a little nervous I'm not gonna have enough red. 
I've decided I am going to stitch it. This is a 36 count um, one thread over two. I'm going to stitch this and see if I have enough. And if I do, great, I'll leave it. If not, I'll slowly unpick this and use it on this and then restitch her in the pink. So that's what's up next. Um, that's what's going on with my Stitch Mania plans. I did work on, um, gosh, you guys, I have just a huge mess here. I worked on a few whips. I worked on um, English Garden. This one is really calling to me. This is Samplers Not Forgotten, English Garden. And several people are stitching along. Um, Mary Lang, I don't know if Lori Mischievous Stitches is doing, Stitch Along Donna's doing it. Julie McConnell at Reflections Framing and Stitching. Um, I think you've seen this before. I don't remember where I was, but I've worked my way across here. And because these bands are like little smalls, I might start uh, continue my media by doing this and counting it as a small. It, and so I'll still make project on my make progress on my biggest projects. I worked a little bit on um, Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs. I did finish the making sure I got the border to me going around the top. Um, I still need to do this, the strawberries, obviously, and the motifs, but I call this the plungers. I got all the plungers done. If you look at the border, it kind of looks like plungers. And I started um, summer at Hollyberry Farms. Where did I put the pattern? Oh, yeah, there it is. Stacy Nash again. I guess I'm on a Stacy Nash kick, but I do have a lot of Blackberries, Blackbird designs kitted up and ready to go also. And this is as far as I got. This is being stitched on R&R &R Espresso and it smells delicious. The color is just so golden and really pretty. Very, very pretty fabric. All right. The last thing, well, no, I've got a couple more things, a couple more that came in the mail. I think Valerie from, uh, what is her channel name? Jotting, something about, it's a long name on Instagram, Jottings at Sampler Farms. I don't remember the name. She's the one that interviewed the um, her friend who has all the samplers on the wall. I think it's her. Her or Carol Saltbox showed this in the background, and I was like, oh, I'm going to stitch that. So I ordered that off of eBay. Priscilla keeps showing little pieces out of this particular one of her designs that I'm falling in love with. This is adorable. This is adorable. So I picked up Queen Bee Farms. Um, someone else showed this one, Amina, Amena House. It's a very pretty sampler. Pretty simple. This one was um, on the, an online group and it's called Timeless Designs Mary Hawken 1841 Sampler. And all the reds and pinks. I do love it. All right, so this is the last thing I'm going to show you. This is what I picked up. This was my new start from Country Sampler. This was, I got the, the itchy nose. You're a grand old flag. Sampler's not forgotten. They may be my, one of my favorite new designers. And I picked this up. It's a piece of, this is probably 40 count, vintage pearl barley. And look at this. I'm stitching it with the rest of the silks that I bought there. These um, silks are stranded in a way and cut that I could stitch the darkest to the lightest. So it has beautiful strategic placed vari variegation. And this was such a smoking deal. I love those swath silks. Okay. I think that's it. Um, 
I know that the giveaway from last time, two of the people responded to me, the Buttermilk Basin and the Merrily Merrily are, are done. And they haven't been mailed yet. I'm mailing them tomorrow. The samplers, um, samplers pattern from Primitive Hair, I think it was Samplers Maker, um, the person who was awarded that last time didn't respond to me. So if I don't hear back by the next video, which will be probably two weeks or a month, depends on what happens in my life, I will redraw a name. Um, and I'll come back. I don't have it with me right now, but I'll go find it and I'll say your name again. So please respond to me. The winner of Samplers Maker was Hillary Rasmussen. That's Hillary Rasmussen. I just hope you all have a, a blessed um, time right now. I hope you had a great Mother's Day if you're from the U.S. Um, I hope you enjoy the youthfulness of the world right now as spring comes along and um, that you, you enjoy the lushness of all the bounty of the earth. And um, right now, like all the flowers are blooming. I came back and my lilacs were completely completely bursting with aroma and color and um, I just this is my favorite time of year where I live so God bless you and we'll see you next time